What's up, Mongolia Game? Primo here being on Let's Play, and today we're back playing Life is Strange. You know, a lot of stuff happened last time. You know, she got shot, had to rewind, come back, you know, etc., etc. But let's hold up and get into it. But before we do that, I just want to say I got something in the works right now. It's looking pretty good, and we're going to see how that turns out. But stay tuned for that. All right, let's get to it. So I don't know if y'all remember where we last left off at. We kind of used our powers a little too much, and you know, yep. Freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. All right. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, that guy. Stelm and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your body. Who the fuck is this? The gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Oh. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Don't make me do this. Don't make don't get off. Oh, fuck. Mhm. Mm I don't know. Oh shit. Um fuck fuck. You know what? This guy seems pretty dangerous. Just gonna go ahead. Let's live it up. Let's live it up. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time. Brainiacs. Sorry. See, I forgot that we. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Damn. Let's we did blow. use them all. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Why do you owe him money, though? Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Uh, where am I supposed to? Okay. Yeah, that was hella fucking dangerous. Wow, um, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Where is she? Where is she? Oh. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Though. Why does she have her his uh her bracelet? All right, let's keep Chloe's it moving. Waiting to go for a walk. We both need it. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. 
Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yeah, spill the beans, lady, because we need to know what's going on. I wish we could stay forever. This is dangerous as fuck. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. You say that till you Kerouac get hit. Knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Just, just. Nobody's watching this epileptic. If you are, I apologize. Hold on, Chloe. What's that? Oh my! F are you serious right now? Oh shit! Bruh, how the fuck? Get me out of here, Max! How the fuck am I supposed to? Um. Shit, is there anything? Where do, okay, which way is the train coming from? All right, we need uh, we need some more time. Let me go all the way like back, back. Find something, Free me! All right, uh. I can't even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Hurry! I don't want to go that way. Fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I have to go this way. Let me just go ahead and rewind back so we don't waste any time, you know? Time is of the essence. Ha ha ha. No. That's not what we want to try. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Come on, Max! Hurry! Fuck. Okay. I can definitely use this bad boy. Okay. Get me out of here! 
Uh, let's see what else we can find real quick before we try to help her. Shit, I can't budget at all. Crowbar. What else is in here? Okay. All right, uh, okay. Let me go ahead and back up here and get and look for more stuff. See that this is taking a damn something is blocking the drum. <sighs> this is kind of taken away from <laughs> the seriousness of this action. Finally move the drum. Lift Chloe up. Oh shit, I gotta use the crowbar. Okay. Whoa, I seriously wrecked the switching lever. This should help me free Chloe, but I could have done it another way. You right. She right. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do this. But which wire to cut? Uh, let's go with uh, red wire. Red wire. Now that's the right cable. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I did it. How the fuck she get up that quick? Okay. See, that's that you bullshit. Me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. She could have. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. That made me mad. She when she could have got up at any point in time, like I think I don't know. I don't know. Thanks I think it's just kind of a coincidence how she just kind of right popped up. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay. You're high. She's you high. Up, okay. You saved my life twice now. Exactly. You the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens because it can and will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. It'd be like that. A perfect example of strange attractors. Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Back streets, back up. Let me stop. All right, let's go ahead and get up, get the, get out of the rain. Ooh, that was a lot of crazy stuff that happened in a small last time frame. But uh, let's see if they'll let us ease back into the situation. I still want to know what's going on with um, what's that chick's name? I don't know. Oh, she's doing okay. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so. I can do some wondering. 
I feel like this is this is important. So yep. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shin. Hey Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not I do? an anti soiree. You seem anti fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. You know what? I don't even want to talk to you. Fuck you. Or am I supposed to talk to her? I don't know. Let's let's try it again. Let's try hey, it again. Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, let I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. Are we I'll actually send going to party info later? Back to the list. Are we actually going to this party? Oh, shit. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sex in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Can I go? Nope. Okay. Let's uh, turn around. Let's just go this way. I feel like he's wait. Who is this? Uh, let's Max, not. can we talk? What the fuck do you want? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about what Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. <gasps> That's all, Max. I, I, I understand. I, I kind of understand where he's coming from a little. So. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me. I have to score some weed from Nathan. Yeah, let's go see what uh, Brody is up to, think, you know? Big brain, think. Hey, yeah. Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? Uh, potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go. Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Did I not wind it back faster? Oh shit. 
Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so asking me. Have daddy. Okay, uh, lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking. Have that. Uh, let's try sodium this time. Vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I give up. Oh, so that was supposed to happen? I don't fucking know. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's. I'm sick of doing this. Have that. Lots. I. Uh... She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. I guess that was just part of the, I don't know. Let's just keep it moving. That was a, a bit of a waste of my time, but it is what it is. Let's be nosy and see what's going on with Claire. You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Damn. Just... Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Just leave me alone. Let's just follow her and see what's going to happen. Stop! Don't come near me! Or not? Okay. I guess not. Uh... I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Whoa. She said that. I'm weak. Alright. Uh, I'm done. I'm, thanks. Okay, cool. Let's go. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? I hope this is not about you the photo worried. because... Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me... I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <laughs> The one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the show. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. 
Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. All right, so Hello. I feel like was I feel like Rachel yes. had something to do with uh, the Prescotts, and I don't know. I have to take this, so just go into class, and I'll be there soon. Oh, he's just gonna keep talking and I wonder who's on Maybe the phone with Hayden. Bo. 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 No time to talk, Hayden. Max. You are Do you think Max progress. will be pissed she we're left. sitting at her desk? Right. Oh, I'm she sure she'll left. report us to the principal. How do I look, I can't give a flying fuck. You look like ass. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Wow. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I, I thought we was cool. You. Why she gotta be an ass? Assholes. Anyway, let's sit. Let's sit down. You know. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. Why did you look so weird? Your eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me. I know you love me. But if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please Maybe sit I'll down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student, or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to... No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Shit. Judge. Usually, people... I feel like that's important. That was Chloe. Who's Chloe? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson usually, published his own little book of photo judge, tips. So they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating.
Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. I guess Caitlin is class now. I'm worried about her. Right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a hair. A shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. No. 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 Is this for real? No. Yeah, she go film and shit. Kate! No! Oh god. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. So we can pause time now? Okay, I see us. Uh, these pigeons are in their fucking way. So that's why he was taking photos. She had to hold that for a hot minute to get on into that roof. Yes. So that mean we can do it longer now or something? Power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Hey, All right, let's do please. this. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. What type of answer is that? Don't Not worry. just to me. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Hey, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Come on, Max, Kate. I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. 
Then everybody at Blackwell posts pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Ooh. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Um, 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 shit, shit, um, who, who, uh, I know her mother don't give a fuck about her, uh. Kate, this will crush your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's. Yes, let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Whew. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh. I did not see that coming at all. That was fucking crazy. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Fuck. Okay, um... Jeff, whoa, 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 we're putting blame? You know what? Nathan's the reason behind all of this, so we're just gonna go ahead and go with Nathan. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit, that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. Fuck you. See you in court. Excuse Fuck you. me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. 
I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No regrets. No regrets. We're doing this. Fuck the Prescotts. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Because it don't matter if she's if he's suing the school or not. If he day. did some shit to her, he's going to jail regardless. So fuck all of that. All well, better. yeah. So thank you for coming in. But uh, I think that about wraps up this episode. A lot of crazy shit happened this episode. And it's just... Whew. I think that might be the end of this episode anyway. You know, we got it done in two takes. Let's get it. I like the, I like the looks of that. We might be breezing through this a little bit. The videos are longer I than what I expected them to be. Happening. But it, it is what it is. I, saw, I felt them. I felt and then I that... Feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. I felt that the video was. I'm in that video out, with uh. She it was out, getting to the hugs, end, so I just wanted tears, to see what would happen. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one and a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today, facts. That. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber somehow, along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? Uh, what the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. No, what's uh? We're not about to do this. Um, I might cut this part because no, no, no. Oh my god! And I think we're done right here. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.